Okay, so we are live. Oh, for anyone that's uh, replaying this, I'm going to sit and have a brew for a bit while I wait for anyone to join. So if you are replaying this, feel free to just skip along. Um, what we're going to be doing today is a bit of fast mid maintenance, a bit of cleaning out of some enclosures, and uh, I just thought I'd look for some company in the meantime while I do it. So for the minute, I'm having a bit of a rest. Uh, I've been, been a busy day. So I'm going to sit, have a cuppa, and then crack on. So, just so you're aware, I have never done a live through my phone, which is what is on right now. I've always done it through my webcam at my computer. As you can see, I'm actually in the broom this time, which I think would be nicer. The only thing I don't know, ah, Peter's already answered my question. Hello, Peter. The only thing I going to say, the only thing I don't know is where the chat comes up on my phone, but it's just come up on the side there from Peter. Hi, Kim. How are you doing? So, guys, I'm going to be cleaning out a load of the, the stick insects this evening. Um, I'm just having a little rest with a cuppa for a minute, and we'll see if anyone wants to join. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get any real turnout today, but we'll see. How are you guys, anyway? Sorry, if I keep wandering off, it's because I'm just getting some bits ready in advance. Hi, Sidex, how are you doing? You'll have to excuse me, buddy. I'm kind of... I'm actually going to be active within this video, so if I don't notice a comment, because I've noticed on the PC when a comment comes up, it stays on here, it disappears, unless I touch the screen maybe. Is there a way of keeping my things up? Waiting on your next order, Peter. It's everyday order day for you. A little bit jealous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, right, I really should begin. Hmm. I think my black beauties are going to need <laughs> side X in the house yeah the black beauties are going to be needing doing first because in this hot weather there was plenty of leaves still on there and I didn't notice that the water dried out really fast so now they've gone a bit crispy so we're going to have to add some more privet into their enclosure um, I'm just making some space before I sort them out uh, I think they're in a different enclosure to when you guys last saw a video of them the enclosure I put them in in that video it needs more ventilation added to it, so. Um, right. They're currently in this one, which used to house our jungle nymphs. So you can see there's still plenty of leaves, but they've started to go dry. So bear with me while I find them. Again, guys, your comments don't seem to stay up. I need to find a way. Ah, if I click that. Jealous of Peter too with his addition. I think I'll cry when he gets new additions. Do you know what he's got then? Um, ow. Right. So we've got fresh privet here, which is going to go in there. idea so you got one up here look hi gar how you doing buddy so we got a little one up here we've got a bunch of them i don't know where my camera's angling right now hopefully you can see them so this one's got his the red wings out there you see that little flare i don't know if that was actually on the camera or not so we're going to sort these guys out first Sorry if I do miss anything anyone said. I don't... What's this button do? Oh, does that keep my chat up? I don't know. I don't use it on my phone. Right. Let's sort this malarkey out. Uh, 
How many you got? One, two, three, four, five. So there we have one, guys. Going for a wonder. Oh, fell off. Never mind, can stay on there for a minute. Just get rid of all that old nasty. Sorry, I keep touching my phone just to see. Uh, hang on a minute, I will read your comments in a second, but I don't want to do a runner on me. Two secs. Uh, eggs don't hatch, I think I'll still get some. Oh, uh, your eggs probably will hatch. The one thing, and I'm, I'm hoping it's my audio okay, by the way, guys, because I don't know what it's like here. But, uh, hiya, Peter, how you doing? But the one thing you'll notice with phasmid eggs is no matter how long you've kept them, you may well think they're not going to hatch. And then out of the blue, one day, boom, they're all there. Where did I put my water? There it is. <laughs> So yeah, so always keep hold of your phasmid eggs. One thing you can do for a test, if you were going to bin them anyway and you want to kind of risk sacrificing some. Sorry, two sacks. You can actually break an egg open. Um, and if it's all dry inside, yeah, they've probably had it. Um, I did it with some over that I had for a very long time. And yeah, I wish I didn't because it was still an egg. It was still had something that would have grown inside. So I'm just setting up privet here because these are renowned privet eaters. Some keepers managed to get them to take to Bramble, however I haven't. Um, I'm just going to pop that in. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, four. Right, we're all good. Now, you might notice I haven't cleaned the bottom substrate or the tissue paper. Uh, I don't actually do it on feeding day. Believe it or not, I'm cleaning it. Well, it's a cleaning out day, but I don't always change this. Sometimes I leave it till the following day when I do an over count. So just to check if we've had any eggs. Because if I do it all in the same day, we're going to be here for a very long time. I'm just going to make sure this dude is not on the lid. Bada bing, bada boom. And that's these guys sorted. So that's one species down at the moment. Sorry, I'll see back if I've had any missed messages here. Uh, good tip, new with them. Hi, Peter and Gar. Yeah, so, yeah, you always want to keep hold of Fasmid eggs. I have got... Let me show you. So this tub here, I have had these eggs for near on 10 months. Um, the hatch rate of these, these should have hatched already about three or four months ago and they haven't. I'm not going to bin them though because one day they may well just suddenly spurt out and then we're happy days. So it's always worth keeping hold of them. Where are we? Oh, using our phone is a bit of a pain. I keep having to tap it and getting you guys way to see my messages. Anyway, guys, so which one should we go for next? I have got the nursery to do. I'm not sure. The Phasmagogus might be okay, though I will have to double check them. Or I've got another communal, experimental communal enclosure with various adult species in. So which ones do you guys reckon I should clean next? Western Invert Show, talking of Western Invert Show, I've found a lift. Per, um, I don't know this guy. You know, you guys know Tony Webb, who has it normally has a stall at the shows? Well, he's kindly got in touch with a guy who's only a bus ride away from me, who has been willing to actually take me to the show for petrol money. Now, I don't know this guy, so I don't know how reliable he is, but providing hello you're right but providing he actually shows up then i'm good to go to the western invert show this year and he seems pretty optimistic about going so i'll do the experimental one okay let me explain it before i go into detail 
or before I clean them, and this will be the longest one by the way. So, <laughs> there are species within this enclosure that you guys really shouldn't keep together for various reasons. I'm experimenting now a bit because some of these adults are, adults, sorry, are coming nearer the end of their life anyway. Others are slightly fresher adults and some are like sub-adult. But I'm keeping multiple species in by trying to adapt one or two different sort of environmental conditions within one enclosure. Where are we going? Sorry, I'm trying to read things. So, whoa. Um, yeah, so there are species you shouldn't keep together, but what I've done is try to adapt it, and I'm using it as an experiment to see, go into more detail about what species are able to live together. So this one, we've got Eurocanthus calcarata, which are not really supposed to be housed with anything. No real phasmids should be housed with something else. If you've got two that have different localities that are the same species as far as we're aware don't house them together because you could easily just mess up the bloodline and the genetics same sort of thing in the tarantula talk really you can ruin it but i haven't done that these are completely separate species there's no breeding can be done between them the reasons they shouldn't be housed together are for condition reasons and because some of them are aggressive species so the eurocanthus calcarata are an aggressive species um so normally I wouldn't house them with anything else. However, they're ground dwelling. So by having a ground dwelling slightly more aggressive species, I have um, bramble food plant lower. So they won't have to climb high with all the other species, meaning there's a lot less risk. And I've had no deaths in there from doing that. So they stick to the lower bramble leaves and the others stick to the higher. So I've also got my jungle nymphs in here now. So they will always remain up high. Now they're also an aggressive species, shouldn't be housed with anything else. However, I've only got one male and one female in there and they tend to stick to sort of one section of the tank and they will have a slightly higher amount of bramble, which they will feed from. They're not massive eaters for what size they are. So they'll simply move slightly to go and feed off that. The only time I've witnessed any aggression from them towards other species living in there is when they're clambering all over them. So if I have things in different locations, things are fine. I've had these in here now coexisting for four or five months and had no deaths through aggression, no deaths through different needs of habitat. So it, it's actually quite impressive. So anyway, you've had me blab on. So it's in here. Um, Sorry, Peter, I wasn't reading your thing you see, with your new shirt. Yeah, I'll definitely come and say hi to you again. I see you guys talking about Huntsman's. I uh, I would love it. Whoa, sorry, I'm used, trying to, use to get used to using a phone here. I'd love Huntsman's, but a bit quick for me. And uh, scare me a little bit, if I'm honest. So, if I open this, I've got to be careful here because I've got some flying species and I've got my window open. So we'll close that one. But it is boiling hot in here. So, here, see if she's going to climb out. I'll pick to do this in the evening, guys, because the phasmids are active in the evening. I normally don't clean them out when they're active because they're a pain in the bum. But it means that you guys can see them. So, if you can see, we've also got X Tatasoma tiaratum living in here. Now, this is a female. She's had no real bother off any of the others. Well, let's see. So I have to keep clicking to see my chat. One sec. Okay. So yeah, so these will kind of, these will go anywhere. They're really adventurous. They will go anywhere to get their food. They're not fussed at all. So... The only risk I have of these are bothering the jungle nymphs, really. And um, the male did give one a kick earlier, um, but it was kind of a warning kick. It didn't actually cause any harm. So we were good there. I'm gonna pop her back in a minute. She's probably gonna try and climb out again because she's a pain. Go on. And the male, this is interesting. 
This is interesting. You don't get to see this very often, guys. Down here, oh, I've got a big twig in the way. That is the male ex tatasoma tiratum drinking from a water dish. Phasmids rarely drink from a water dish. Ex tatasoma tiratum, I have never in my life until now witnessed drinking from a water dish. The water dish is there for the Uricanthal calcarata. They do drink from a water dish. They're the ground dwellers. They are thirsty species, they are always thirsty, but never have I witnessed that happen before. So that is a new one to me. I am pretty impressed with that. Um, we've got a couple of baby bud wings in here that need to go into the nursery. These were chucked in here before I made that nursery and I wasn't sure if they would survive, but they have, they're actually just here. Uh, there. Just a baby bud wing right there. Don't know how well you can see that. All right, can I open this or is someone going to fly out of here? No, we're good. You're good to go. Okay. Now, I'm not going to get the jungle nymphs out for you guys. So you see this big green blob here? This is the female jungle nymph with the male who's actually on her back. He can fly. I don't want to disturb him. This is a budwing up here. But as you can see, this budwing's touching this jungle nymph and she's not kicking him which is interesting because if they're bothered, they will kick and they will hurt you. Um, so that's quite interesting to see. Yeah, I'm not going to handle them because they will hurt me. I'm not going to lie. So first of all, we're getting rid of old bits of food. I've already removed some semi-fresh leaves before doing this. And these are the really old nasties. So let's get them out of here. Right, so I'm trying to read the comments here. I had one escape, took two hours to get back today. Oh, another escapee. Ch got to run for a charger, no worries. Sorry, that's not a problem, buddy. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look down here again, look. So, there he is. I don't know if I've got my camera angle right. Let's put it this way. There he is, drinking. Upside down. Drinking from a water dish. Insane. Absolutely insane. Right, let's get some of these old bits out. Oh, you guys probably haven't seen much of the Eurocount for Calcarata, have you? Because they don't really come out. Let me see. Now, she might kick me, but I'll see if I can get her. Oh, she's getting angry. Chill out, girl. Ain't gonna hurt you. Got ya. Here we are, look. Big. She is a big old girl. Oh, I've got... No, you're not escaping. Get off. Get off. Sorry. So yeah, this is a female Eurocanthus calcarata. They only come out in the evening. I very rarely see these in the day. So these are the ones that require the water dish. These are the ground dwellers. They're not ground dwellers when they're nymphs, only when they're adult. So they'll be high up otherwise. Hi, Sidex, welcome back. Yeah, she is big. She's fully mature. She is living. She is gravid. She's full of over right now. She's got these spikes on her legs, if you can see. She will kick me with them, but it doesn't hurt that much. The males do hurt. The males really hurt. Um, but I don't have any males left. I only had one. And uh, he was in that sort of RIP video I did about these. So I was always concerned of rummaging around for the over um, before because <laughs> he used to just hide under the substrate. And then you give me a right wallop while I'm trying to get the over out. So, and believe it or not, one of these has escaped on me once. This size has escaped on me once. Found its way into my partner's bag to hide. Didn't even know it escaped. She went mental. So, 
Right, I really do need to get these guys sorted now though, so I will get off there. Got some some trying to escape. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves while I'm being busy, guys. I don't mind at all. Uh, right, have we got any on yet? We got none on there. Beautiful. That's what I like. And that's quite interesting as well. Because I disturbed that um, your account for Cal Karata, he's actually gone... Oh, where is it? Up the top. She, sorry. She's actually gone right to the top. Now, these are the ground dwellers. So that's quite funny. And we've got this one escaping. It's a nightmare with multi-species in one tank. It really is. So this is why I don't normally do it in the evening, guys. Because they all run for freedom. Go on. Okay. Well, I can't clean the water dish right now because he's still having a drink. Looks like he's drowning himself. He's not. Now, there is something in here I'm taking out today. You see this? Now, I've had it in there a long time and I used it as an extra hide. It's one of those kind of like things you can buy in a pound shop and I curved it over like a big hide. Because you account for Carl Carata like to hide. However, most of the time they use a cork bark tube. And I'm removing this today because I witnessed one get its legs stuck. And I had to assist to get its leg out. And luckily it didn't pull its leg off. So that was alright. But it's still not something that you want to see happen in your collection with your inverts getting stuck so that comes out now the jungle nymphs on the move i do not like that so we are closing the doors for a moment and um, we've got hermit here hermit joined the crew disturbed her so she's now just looking like a stick um yeah she's my only adult indian left and she's actually going to go into the nursery in a little while so that she can eat the edges of some of the leaves. So if she eats some of the edging of the leaves, it allows the softer part of the leaf to be consumed by the nymphs. So at some point, I'm going to be popping her in there. I'm absolutely sweating, so I'm going to close this door a minute. Right, Ooh. Right, I can open the window now. So we've seen some really unusual behaviours this evening, which is kind of cool. So we've seen a phasmid drink that doesn't normally drink. And we've seen a ground dweller hiding up high, which is quite amusing. Um, but yeah, so this multiple habitat thing seems to be working quite well, believe it or not. Oh, I tell you what, I'm really, really hot. Anyway, I don't know if I've missed anything. Let's have a look. No, no more chatting, that's cool. So I'm just gonna be setting up some of their food plants now. So if anyone wants to ask anything or whatever, if you wanna chat about anything to do with that enclosure or some of the other species that I keep, feel free. But I'm just gonna be sorting out my bramble just for a moment, all right? Hi, Brittany, by the way, how are you? Uh, who else is in here? Anyone that I haven't spoke to yet, come and say, oh, hi, Dan. Hey, Dan, how are you doing? Nice to have you come on to the live. We're just doing some maintenance today. I've got bits of bramble in my tea, so we're not having a tea. Tea break's over already. Um, what we are going to do, sorry if you hear a weird noise. It's not me having a wee. I'm filling up my... Uh, water for the bramble a minute yeah Dan I'm good I'm just boiling up. I've had to actually I don't know when you joined but I've had to close my enclosure for a minute that the camera was on because everyone's trying to make an escape for it and uh, I needed to open my window because I was scorching so you'll get to see them all again in a minute filling this up the slow way Okay, we're good.
did your live video. Yeah, I, I actually done. I saw your live, and when I clicked on it, I didn't notice you were live. And as soon as I clicked on it, was when you were saying bye to everyone. So I'm sorry I didn't notice it beforehand. But. Alright guys, so all I'm doing for a minute, feel free to chat amongst yourselves or to me, whichever, just while I'm setting this up. So this is going to be the higher one, so this is why I'm picking the higher pieces, so things like the jungle nymphs can go and fetch on that. And then we'll do the lower down bits of bramble, so then we can have the ground dwellers have their part, so that we don't have any nasty interaction between the two. Uh, that's the bottom piece. There we are, that's a good one. I tell you what, using my phone on here is a right pain to be able to see comments. It's not like the PC where I can just keep checking. Uh, for Bristol, right, in regards to that, I'd like to say yes now. Tony Webb actually got in contact with a guy who lives not too far from me, one bus ride away, and I can jump in the car with this guy who's going to take me up there. The only problem is I don't know this guy, so I don't know how reliable he is. Um, but, but he seems excited to be going up to the show, so I can't see why he wouldn't go. And uh, he's happy to take me and my partner up, which is awesome of him. So, providing he sticks to his word, I'll be going to the Bristol show. Yeah, yeah, it'll be awesome to see you there. Um, bear with me a second. I'm sorry I don't reply for a minute. I'll pop that back on there for you guys. Um, close my window again. Now let's see if anyone makes a runner for it this time. Our Carl Karata is still up the top, which is really strange. I don't know what she's doing up there. I must have bothered her when I handled her just now. So, but like I said, those ones aren't used to being handled anymore because they're nocturnal and they hide. I don't really handle them much anymore. Right, so here we've got our high up ones. So this will do us for our jungle nymphs, uh, our Extasoma tiaratum, our Phenopharis caoyensis. We just got a lower down one to do for the Eurocanthal Calcarata so that we don't have any fighting going on. So we'll set that one up. I'm actually quite upset that I don't have my cup of tea. I've been looking forward to that cup of tea, I tell you. Um, right. Oh no, destroying the place. Tell you what, that mantis goes through some uh, some pain. And I dropped that enclosure on my live that time, and then now I've just hit it with a light. Things are going to hate me. Right. Well, what, what are we talking about here? We're talking about down. Nobody knows down. No, I'm joking. What I tend to do, guys, when I'm emptying my bramble pots is I just use these to get it out. I used to use my hands, and I'll tell you what, the amount of thorns that I get stuck in me for weeks on end is unreal. When you've got to do this every week, and when my collection was at its brim, and when it's at its brim, I mean I had 30, 40 different species. I had hundreds, and uh, it, I was getting seven or eight thorns in my hand every week. Yeah, I could wear gloves, but I can't be bothered. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just, it's just laziness. I don't. I can't be bothered to wear gloves. Plus, it means if I wear gloves and I get any nymphs walk on my hands, I can't feel it. Whereas if I'm not wearing gloves and they climb on me, I'm gonna notice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Bristol show too. Actually, I'm really excited to go. I'm thinking of picking up maybe a new centipede actually. I need to rehouse mine because it's now able to climb to the top of the enclosure and I don't like that. So I am definitely going to rehouse that one and I'd love to get a new one. What are you guys looking for anyway? Those of you going to the Bristol show, what you got you guys got anything in mind? Anything you'd like to share with us that you're planning on getting?
you're on a centipede ban well that's just unfortunate invert <laughs> yeah i should hope so uh peter needs to stop by well now i'm in a situation right now where i get my work hours you know i've had a bit of an issue with work well i get my work hours back the week after but i still have some savings that i haven't touched if i manage to still keep hold of those savings maybe i'll buy you something peter give you a treat You ain't having anything expensive, mind. I ain't loaded. But I don't mind treating you. Ugh, that's a bramble fail. Get rid of that bit. I'm trying to find. Ah, oh, there we go. We're also going to be chucking in a bit of ivy. I've said it before, guys. Don't keep ivy as a main food plant for your phasmids. Having it in now and again for a treat is fine. If you keep it as a main food plant, you are risking high toxicity levels. And that potentially could kill them. And it, should you ever use them for feeders in the future, if you get overpopulated, you're then passing that high toxicity level onto your predatory inverts. So keep your bramble levels fairly low guys if you're going to keep any uh, not your bramble levels your ivy levels sorry so i will read your comments in a mo but as you can see here now we've got the bits for our lower species like our, our ground dwellers and a piece up for our mid species so in theory we should still have no aggression amongst them i'm going to pop it in then i'll have a reader comment so if you pop this one here in a minute I've got a baby budwing here. If anyone wants to have a little look for a minute. Oh no! Get off. Right. Don't know how well you'll see that. So this one has probably shed twice, maybe just the once. But we'll put that one into the nursery later on. I'll be careful here because I'm right by my jungle nymph. Ugh. Okay. So, you see the jungle nymph still sitting at the top, still got the male on her back. Um, although, I really wish the ectosomatia right and wouldn't go anywhere near them, but it wants to. We've got our bud wing. And our Eurocanth is over, hiding over there. We do need to change that water bowl though. So as I said, the water bowl is purely there for Eurocanth the Carl Karata. But, but we have witnessed Extas Soma and drinking from it, which I've never ever seen in my life, ever. She's definitely hungry, so she's on the move. So we're closing that because I do not want to be scissor kicked by that beast there. There's your size comparison look, guys. She ain't small. She ain't polite. Right, I'll read through the comments now, guys. But there's still a species I'm not going to show you today. There's still a species I haven't shown on my channel yet. And if you think she's big... She ain't nothing compared to what I've got. I have a massive, massive new species to my collection. Oh. One second, guys. I will observe this. I'm sorry. Two seconds. So we were just talking about how these have cohabited for months without any signs of aggression. Well, we might be having a little scrap may happen here. I, I just want to observe it a minute because I need to get someone out of there if they're going to get aggressive. So bear with me. Move, move, move. Oh, oh no, hang on. 
I'm going to get myself out here. Two seconds, guys. No, back off. Back off. Back off. I'm really sorry about this, guys. I would have captured it for you, but I've got to be quick. I don't want to be worrying where the camera is. Okay, we're good. Get off, please. Ow! Yep. Anyone think stick insects can't hurt? Yeah, they're lying. Uh -huh. Right, there we go. We're good. So, the, um, the male of the jungle nymphs decided to leave the females back to get some food and he doesn't normally do that he quite often stays on her for 90% of the time but where he jumped off um, another got in the way and she raised her legs ready to kick so I had to kind of intervene but she doesn't do that when he's on her so right I do apologize I will read now but it was I'm sorry I didn't put it on the camera guys but I just I just had to make sure everything was all right there Right, there we go. Let's read back now. Oh, we got Draco here. Have we? Hi, Draco. How are you doing? Oh, I'm the invertebrarian. Hello. I'm a chicken hunter. Hunting for a chicken. I don't know. Have I missed something here? Peter talking about rhino beetles. I would love to get them, but everywhere's always selling the, the grubs, and I can't be bothered to wait. I'm not, I'm not patient enough for grubs to wait. We've got Arachnid King here. Hello. Thought there were 17 pokey. Brenny, hoping to make your own videos? You should do it, just go ahead and do it. You don't have to have a huge amount to be able to produce videos. So I really wouldn't worry on that. Oh, as Dan says, you don't need a lot to start filming. So just as I was saying. Kick by those at your local shop and it hurts, Drake. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not pleasant at all, but as I was explaining for those that have recently joined, this enclosure here cohabits multi-species, which is something that's not recommended, especially to anyone who's a beginner. But I've adapted this vivarium, sorry, with a slightly more humid side and a slightly drier side. We've got one side of food plant, which will be for the phasmids like the jungle nymphs and the extatosoma tiratum that will climb a lot. Then we get the lower branches they'll be put down for the Eurocanthor calcarata. So both the jungle nymphs and the calcaratas are defensive species. They are species that will kick and they will really fight the other inverts. But the way that I've been doing this, apart from just now, we have managed to succeed with no aggression whatsoever and they have cohabited fine. The only problem I have had, which I will show you at some point when I can get back in there when she is not sat right by my door, is a bud wing at the back did have a very bad molt and lost a few legs so i'm not sure that is possibly that it wasn't getting enough humidity but things like the extasoma tiratum do not need humidity which is why i kind of counterbalance both sides of the vivarium and aside from that bad molt everything's been fine and that one's been in there since it was a tiny nymph and it hadn't had a bad molt previous so it may not be humidity levels it may have just been the way in nature so anyway it is an experimental enclosure it may work it may not work but we're going to see because there are so many people out there that have that want to multi cohabit phasmids within one enclosure but because of the certain aggressive species or certain species that require different levels of humidity or different food plants they're always concerned. So this is my tester and so far it's been going for quite a long time without any issues whatsoever. So let's read. Sorry, where are we? Reading back now, guys. Spy Shop has a pair of rhino beetles, says Sidex. Yeah, I noticed that, buddy. That was cool. Hope everyone's well. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm just baking up. Uh, my girlfriend's gone out for the night. My daughter's in bed. So it's clean out day and I've left it deliberately to the evening so that the phasmids are active. Whereas normally I'll do it in the day where they don't move around a lot because it is a nightmare. Um, but they were hungry this time, very, very hungry. 
you can see they're all having a munch right away. Um, Brittany, you say you love the enclosure. Thank you. I'm, I appreciate that. I wonder who bought that P Metallica adult. I didn't even see there was one on there, Draco. Can't do well and worse than me. You haven't got a clue how to edit, Peter. You don't need to, buddy. You really don't. I enjoy just watching, especially when things escape from you, which I shouldn't laugh at, but it's actually quite entertaining. You don't need to edit. There are YouTubers out there that are completely raw. You do not need to know, but... If you want to learn basics, I can help you with basics, but I'm not experienced editor by all means at all. Some of these guys here are going to be way, way better than me. People like Dan, if he's still in here, has been doing this a long time. Someone like him is probably going to be a bit better to talk to than myself. Um, right, guys, we've got the nursery to do and the phasmagigus or gigus, however you want to pronounce it, to do as well. So, do you guys want to pick which one I do next, or shall I just go for whatever? Yeah, just a little bit down. Yeah, he's got a point there. It's invertebrarian, same there. Boxing bow, doesn't edit. Right. Tell you what, it's going to be more difficult for me to do the nursery, so we'll do that one. So the nursery is another experimental enclosure. Let's put pop the light on for this one. Right, I'm probably not going to be able to see your comments for a little while, so I'm turning the camera so you guys can actually see. Hang on, let's close this. Right, I don't know what's. You just set that up. Right, hopefully that doesn't fall. You might not be able to see a lot in here right now. We have a few up on the ceiling. Oh, there's my baby. Come here. No, don't run. I'll tell you what, hang on. Let me pop you here for just a moment because I'm going to get nymphs escaping all over the place else. When dealing with nymphs, always check through your bramble. Can you see any? Because I can see one. We got a baby budwing on here. Smaller than the one that you guys saw earlier. This is probably an L2. Come here. Dinky. Dinky dude. Again, I'll read all comments in a mo, but I don't want any of these running away from me. So move that one where is my prized possession oh there she is there she is my lovely lady here she is one of my absolute favorites because she's wild caught in the UK native to New Zealand and what a species so she's still very young there is actually loads on this plant. There's also a baby Exatosoma tiratum here, as you can see from the shape. Let me pop that back in a minute. I'll tell you what, you can look at her for a moment while I get some of the other bits out. She is my pride and joy. She's the only one I've got. I did have a mother wild caught. Her mother passed away. She was very old when we caught her and we were advised that she was, by an expert, that she was not going to survive much longer. She was well past her time. So I know this is her offspring because where she was found was a location that they'd not been seen in before. And these phasmids tend to stay on the same bush for their entire life through generation through generation. So the likelihood is that her mother was either picked up by a bird or and dropped or blown by the wind and knocked into a different bush and she was the only one on that bush discovered 
and six, seven months later, at freshly hatched, this one was found in the exact same location and it was a newborn nymph. Uh, obviously she's not now, but she was. Um, so I know that that's the offspring of the mother that we did have, which is great. I do want to go look for her brothers and sisters, but the patch that she's found in, although it's still in my hometown, is actually quite far out from me. So it's going to be a real nightmare for me to get to. But I do need to go hunting. And I'm not keeping an eye on the babies. Oh, goodness me. All right, hang on. Sorry guys, you'll have to bear with me. Things are not quite going to plan. Okay, we're good. So we'll, I'm gonna be popping her in now and then I'll read your comments again. And then we can have a look at the Phasmogygus or Gigas, however you would like to pronounce it, um, because they're awesome. And I haven't actually done my video on them yet. It's done, but it's not out yet. So you'll notice they actually look different now to that video, but that's because we've had some molts since then. Just popping my lady back. There she goes. And we got a lot of nymphs trying to run away. Right, sorry about that guys, I will read your comments now. Um, I'm still trying to get used to this malarkey, but actually doing something as well as just chatting. Uh, We've got two more phasmids to do actually. One of them's gonna be really, really quick. And then we've got our phasma gigas. So, where are we now? Let's have a look at the comments. Uh, right, I'm gonna scroll up. Right, where are we? Talking of editing software. So excited to show you guys my Crappy setups, I'm sure they're not crappy at all. How long do you live for? Rachna King, it completely depends on species, completely. You've got an average of a lot of them living for around about a year lifespan. For things like the jungle nymphs can pretty much double that, if you're lucky. Um, it really is a variant on species to species. Sorry, my finger's in the way, guys. It's just because I'm using my phone. Uh, Sidex has to go. I really enjoyed your stream, learnt lots, good chatting, good chatting to you too, I don't know if you're still here Soidex, but thank you very much for coming on, it's a pleasure to have you here. Check out my videos if anyone wants, yeah, feel free to check out Ratton King's videos, anyone is welcome to advertise their channel here, so if anyone's not subbed to anyone here and you want to, this is not all about me guys, this is me having a chat with you while I'm actually doing what I would be doing anyway, so... I have no problems with people advertising their channels on here. So go check each other out. Talking to some beetles, as the Baron says, I don't know much about them. I have, I had some grubs, um, which then have cocooned or pupated, whichever you want to call it. I'm not quite sure, but I don't know much on beetles generally. And the only one that actually came through, escaped, without me even knowing that it had that it had metamorphosized or whatever you call it. But when it's come through, and it drowned itself. It came out of the tub I had it in, and happened for the first thing I wanted to do was jump in my sink that was full of water and dirty dishes. And I was away at the time, and I came home and found it dead. So I'm not too sure what what's good to add in with them, if I'm honest. But... I'm presuming they'll be fine with the style of setup you already had. Maybe just a little, maybe a place for them to, I don't know, do they hide? I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't know much about them, buddy. So we'll, we'll try and learn together if I get more hatch through. Right, where are we? Hello, Chris. Love your vids. All transfer YouTubers got me into teas. 
I've got three now. Oh, brilliant. Especially Transfer Guy 1976. Yeah, with his comeback. Oh, Martin. So Martin was talking, I did a live before, and Martin was talking a lot to me about this, like, natural terrarium I'm building. I am working on one at the minute. <clears throat> it is not as tall as I wanted it to be, but this is kind of a, what do you call it, prototype. So we're going to see how this one goes, and if this one works, then we're going to make the bigger one. But it is four foot. It's a four foot viv. Well, it's not really a viv. I'm making it a viv. But it was a four foot cabinet, um, which I am in the process of sorting out. Then if that works and it's successful and the predators don't overwhelm the prey like we were talking about before, then we're going to move into one that's not going to be quite four foot wide, but it's going to be a lot taller. And that's when we can implement the waterfall and things like that. But for the time being, it's going to be made out of a four footer. So... Might do a live again at some point. You should do, Adam. I'm so, I felt really rude on your live because I was so busy being on the phone. Um, but I was I was watching what I could of it. We got Peter and his 68 lit. Um, where are you talking about getting teas at the invert show? Sorry, I've got to keep working. Um, I'm not specifically going for teas this time. Uh, well, I never go specifically for them anyway. But I want to get some more African tarantula species. And the reason I want to get African species is because I am been invited to South Africa where I get free accommodation. So I want to learn a bit more about species so I can do some filming when I'm out and about. So here's some leaf insects here for a minute, guys. If you look out, just got to change their bramble over. This is a female. Um, yeah, so I want to get some more African tarantulas and baboons um, just so that I can watch and learn from them and see how well they see, like, firsthand things like burrows and... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and talk. And their characteristics, rather than seeing them on a camera, see them for myself. So that when I go over to Africa, I can have a better look. I can go actually looking for tarantulas over there and I can film it for you guys and maybe I can recognise them better than I would be able to do currently. Where's my stuff? So, yeah, if I was going to go for any tarantulas over there, it would be African species. I would go for. I'm probably going to get some more phasmids, especially if Helen's there. Helen Stewart, she's, she was at the BTS, she's at various other shows, and she is my number one go-to for buying phasmids. Um, she's got a wealth of knowledge, she's brilliant. But she didn't bring a lot, She didn't. I didn't buy any of her at the BTS, because she didn't actually bring any species I was after, which is a shame. But maybe she'll have some at the show, This the invert show. My chat keeps disappearing. Where are we? <laughs> Needing another bookcase. Yeah, four foot is a great start. Thank you. I want to set up and buy four. Yeah, I would love to do that too. I, I would love to do it. Um, but I'm just, I'm not massively experienced with the tarantulas yet. I want to, something I really need to, to kind of step up and learn a bit more about. Um, so Jacob says I wish I could do that sort of stuff which which stuff were you talking about there Jacob which stuff do you wish you could do just because I'm, I'm a bit lost in convo because obviously I'm trying to refeed everything it's a good thing I'm not doing the, the substrates and the tissues and the overcount today as well because I really wouldn't be paying attention to you guys and that's not fair so it's just feeding for today right that's not theirs, this is theirs. Ow, 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 that hurt. Oh, travel to Africa, yeah. Well, it's probably gonna be a while before I can go because I've been invited in January and there's no way I can afford to go in January at all. Um, so, 
I'm thinking it might even be a year later. Uh, my invite's an open invite. The lady I know, she lives in the UK, but she has houses over in South Africa. It's actually her parents' houses. But her parents own more than one house, I believe. And I've been invited whenever I want to. So, yeah, it might be a long time before I go, but there will be footage of it one day. Show you the Thmogogus in a second. They are really cool now. They're growing on. They're stunning. Um, let's pop them back. Mm -hmm. Had to go help your neighbour. Welcome back. What do you have to help your neighbour with? Uh, right. We need to move stuff to be able to get to this enclosure. So let's pick these up. <clears throat> Pump them down here. Oh, blimey, this room is not big enough. I wish you need a bigger bug room. I'm sure my girlfriend disagrees, but... Oh, sorry, I'm just going to read these. I have to keep my back garden. You can find an awful lot of cool stuff in your back garden, though. What inverts do you guys have at the moment? Um, well, obviously, you guys are going to give a list, but me, personally, well, I think I've got eight odd tarantulas, various stick insects, Egyptian predatory beetles, vinegaroon, blue vein death beetles, tethless beetle, three mantis, a centipede, uh, crab, scorpion, and probably some other stuff. These actually still have feed, but I will show you them because they are stunning. Now, I this video isn't out yet about these guys, but I've not witnessed a mature male one of these in person ever, um, Phasmagogus. I have witnessed female adults, never a male, because they can produce pre-pathogenesis. I do have a male and female. I've got a funny feeling that the male may have matured to adulthood. And the reason I think that is he is now winged and he wasn't winged before so let's have a look at him uh get your camera in the right place sam he is where's my finger where is my finger i'm holding my phone at a funny angle here all right can we see him can't we yeah yeah that's the male not a very good shot i know but i'll try and get the female out so you can actually see her the male, they can't fly as such, but they can give it a go. They flutter and he could potentially get out. So let's try and get the female here. Oh, she's kicking off. Female, could a size of that. There she is, guys. Where's she going? Female Phasmagogus, she is not mature yet. She is nowhere near the size that she can reach. She is stunning. She's kicking off, so I'm going to put her back. She's not happy. Yeah, sorry that light's going to be in your way for a minute, guys, but it's the only angle I can get at the moment while I finish off doing their food. And then it will be just a, a chat to do whatever. I can show you some of the other things I keep and so what. And I will read your comments in a mo. My tripod's messing up here, hang on. I don't know what's going on. Two sex guys. All right, let me just sort out the last. Oh, there's, there's, there's the male coming out a bit more now. Where is he? Just on the side. Is that gonna be a better view? There he is. You can see, I don't know how well you can see, but he's, he's winged all the way down here. I need to move his legs a bit. There we go. There, wings, wings. Look at that. Can you see that? Have I got that on show? I don't know if I've got that on show, guys, because my phone's facing away from me. But did you see the wings?
any of anyone see the wings there? Because that was impressive. That I've never seen their wings before. Oh, hang on, they're trying to get out now. Right, get in. Thank you. So I should be. Yes, I did. Yeah, that, that was that was impressive wings wingspan. <laughs> I've got to admit, that was a pretty impressive wingspan. I thought he was going to flutter off then. Really did. Um, I've got to put a food plant in for him. Let's see what else you guys said. Uh, by the way, guys, don't feel that you've got to stay. This is this live is just literally on here to chat while I'm working. Um, let's read in. You know what? When you say ferrets, I've always fancied a ferret, you know. Never, never had one. Always wanted to give one a go. Where is my cup of water gone? Where are you? I'm losing my mind here. Oh, well, we'll use this one. Old scabby bramble. Get rid of you. Get rid of the old scabby water and all. Bye bye. Male stink. <laughs> I have read that. So what do you guys think of those those phasmagogus there? What do you think of them? If you Google them you'll probably get pictures of females and they are absolutely amazing. I'm glad you saw the wings as well. That's the first time I've ever seen him because he's only molted within the last couple of days. That's why I didn't handle him because he needs to harden up, but that was impressive. I mean, you guys seeing it on the camera is probably completely different to what I saw in person, but they spread out initially like this, each. We raised female ferret in the house with kittens as her mother. Went mental and killed the rest of them. Ah. Oh. Oh, hey, uh, beginner's burrows in the house. Yeah, I can't, I can't really reenact it for you either. So we were sorting out the phasma, phasmagigus, or well, I always say it, phasmagigus, phasmagigus, whichever you want to say. And uh, the male, I believe, has fully matured. It's the first time I've ever owned a male of these. And um, <laughs> I bothered him a little bit and he showed his wings and they were impressive wings. And I've never ever witnessed that in my life. So, yeah, for people like me, that was really exciting. For those of you that don't really care about phasmids, probably not so much so. But it was even intimidating almost. The way he came to go come out then, that was crazy. He was he was running with his wings out towards me originally. That is nuts. Right, we're going to put this last bit of food plant in there for them. I don't have to do an over check on these guys because the female is not mature. So let's try and not irritate him too much this time because like I said, he is reasonably freshly molted. So we do not want to uh, cause too much distress, but I am going to have to knock him slightly. There we go. Did anyone? Oh, I don't know if the bramble would have been in the way, but he got his wings out again. For anyone that doesn't know, they express they show their wings as a sign of "get away from me." It's like a threat display. They will flap them and the females when they are adult they have wings too they cannot fly with them as far as i'm aware but they will flap them to say get away from me 
that light will be out your eyes in a moment guys I'm just checking there's nothing else that's midwise that needs sorting out apart from overcount which we won't be doing today no I think we're good <coughs> Larger communal, nursery communal, phasmagugus, firms. Is that it? Apart from my special, my special ones, which you guys still don't know what they are yet. But the, one of the reasons I've kept them a secret for so long for you guys of what I bought is because I'm hoping for the female to molt before I do a video on them because it will be impressive. I promise you it'll be an impressive species to see and the male's molted, female hasn't and I think she's sub-adult, think, because I'm a species I've never kept before and if she is and then she ma she ma matures to an adult female she's going to be such an impressive species to show you guys so I was trying to wait for that moment but I'm not sure if that's going to happen at all. Um, yeah, well guys Let's see what comments we've got here. Anyone from the Philippines here? Not me, but I would love to go to the Philippines. Spiderwick, how are you doing? Right. Now, if anyone does want to go, feel free to go, but I don't mind going through some of my other collection with you guys, but since I dropped Bramble in my cup of tea, I'm actually really upset. I need a cup of tea in my life right now. So you can follow me while I go make a brew, if you do fancy carrying on chatting. Um, and then we can have a look at some of the other bits in the collection. Um, or if you wanna go, you can go. There's nothing to keep you staying here. If you don't want to be here, guys, don't feel that I would find it unsupportive if you wanted to go. After all, I'm just making a cup of tea. English and their tea, yeah man. Right, my house is disgusting right now, so I'm really ashamed for you guys to be able to see bits. Um, I haven't even got an excuse for it, I just couldn't bother to tidy. So I'm gonna pop you up on here, this is my kitchen. You probably recognize the background on a few talking parts of videos. God, my lights are everywhere to annoy you guys. So, uh, cat along. uploaded my latest editions all right cool i'll have to have a look at that at some point buddy oh yeah mine i didn't know you were here french le cave how you doing um we're going to be going back to anyone that's just joining we're going to be going back to the collection in a bit i dropped bramble in my cup of tea and i'm distraught by that so i'm making another cup of tea and you guys are just following me around my house while i do that and I left my cup upstairs, so I'm gonna be one of them really annoying people and get a new cup rather than going back up to get my old one. Um, just because I can't be bothered. And then we'll go back and we can have a look at other things if you guys want. Everyone check out everybody's channels here. We've got some great YouTubers in this chat right now. So don't forget to subscribe to one another. There's no one in this chat that I, or has been in this chat, that I can say is a bad YouTuber. They are all worth checking out, so. If anyone wants to name their channel in here, I mean their channel's obviously in their, their name, but I mean you want to name a mention about your channel, that's not a problem, you go ahead and do so. Advertise yourselves as much as you want to, guys. Right, Tarantula K, only just arrived, answer my question for the above. Right, I will look. Okay, sorry, I've missed you, I completely missed your question. Sam, perhaps you know if I can keep my phallus and Gigante together in a new big enclosure. Right, so what you have missed then is actually an experiment that I was doing, Martin, which is in relation to your question. I have been experimenting with species living with one another. I am actually living, putting together right now, or have been for the past few months, species that are really shouldn't live together through aggression reasons um, and slight habitat differences and they have adapted fine and I've had no deaths either.
by altering things within the enclosure. So, if you're looking at these two species specifically, and I'll get back to everyone else's comments in just a moment, because I can't read from back here because I need glasses. Um, phallax, it, it can be done. No, no two species are really recommended to live together, but it can be done. So your phallax are gonna be a bit more squirmy, um, but they're both larger phasmids, although the phallax are thinner, or the males are. Um, I would say it is possible, and it is certainly doable, but you really do need a large enough space um, because there's, like you wouldn't have seen it, but I was talking about aggression in my enclosure and I hadn't been witnessing aggression. However, where I disturbed them today to be cleaning out, I caused some to flee and in turn of them fleeing, um, I nearly got one stabbed um, by a jungle nymph. I had to intervene to stop it happening. And although they're nowhere near as aggressive, phallax do still possess spines, um, which they will kick with, though I think you'd probably be right. So all in all, Martin, my answer to your question is, it is possible, it's never highly recommended, but it's certainly possible. And I think these things are worth the experiment. I think the only times that phasmids coexisting is a definite, definite no-no are when you've got your mixing bloodlines. So rather than being separate species, you're mixing things like Extatosoma tiaratum. They've had their bloodlines mixed for years. You get Extatosoma tiaratum in a fall, something like that. I don't know the name of the place. Um, if you mix them together, although they're, they're, they're one's from a certain locality, the others have been mixed for ages. Mixing things like that together, I would never ever do because you're messing with bloodlines, you're breeding through different localities and you are ruining the genetics, but completely different species like that, it's literally a tester. I've never housed phallax with anything different so far. So I don't wanna say yes, go ahead and do it. And I don't wanna say no, don't do it either because I'm experimenting right now and it's always worth it. But what I recommend is if you see signs of them, of any kind of deterioration, of any kind of stress, if they're curling, if they're being more fidgety than normal, if they're looking like they can't settle, then remove them and put them back because they, they can so show signs of stress and that's something to look out for. If you have one death, don't take it as a coincidence and just move the rest out. That's my personal opinion. And now I'll finally read back what people are saying. Um, so we're going back up. Must be a British cup of tea, says Martin's Tank Talk. Yeah, must be British. I am British, mate. I love our tea. I love my tea and I love my rum. Um, I've got my rum in here. Look, this is my favourite rum. This one here. Not drinking tonight because my daughter's here tonight and she's in bed. Uh, Guinness Bow, subbed everyone else. Brilliant. Arriving at the Bristol show, if you're talking... Me, personally, I don't know. I'm getting a lift off a guy I've never met before in my life. So it's when he's ready to go. Um... Dwarf Trance was fantastic. McClay's and Madagascan pink wings together, big mistake. Death's galore. McClay's way too nosy and injured pink wings. So yeah, it's never recommended for bulky and non-bulky species because of that. Also, McClay's can kick. They didn't have that light again. They do have a kick to them, believe it or not. Doesn't really hurt, but they can, and they're, they're strong. They can boot smaller inverts. Um, off of branches um they can potentially pierce them but it's not that good um i'm not doing it my phallax are too precious totally agree with the genetic statement as well yeah so i yeah to be on the safe side martin keep your phallax separate but should you ever want to do some cohabitat i tend to find that netted things tend to do better when coexisting. Right now mine aren't, they're in the um, exoterra, whereas my nursery is in a netted, although it's a wooden frame, it's netted. I found so far in my experience, netted ones do better than enclosed enclosures when you're coexisting, but that's no good for human species then, because they're in a netted environment. 
So let's look back. Peter's back. Hello, Peter. Yeah, not risking any deaths. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. I wouldn't either. My experiments right now, are things that I've had for a long time, I've got lots of over of. I wouldn't deliberately put them in harm's way, but so far the experiment is working. Um, but some species are a lot more... Uh, I don't want to use the word flimsy. I can't think of a word. Their survivability, their... Oh, you know what? That word has gone from my head. What is it? Some are not as hardy, basically. Let's just put it that way. Get some giant African millipedes. Oh, hello, millipede lover. I have one giant millipede. It's a skeleton leg is its common name. I do not know its scientific name. I don't know a lot about millipedes. Um, but that's in my front room. I need to go soon. No worries, Alan. We've got to be up at six. I appreciate you coming along. Thanks for watching, buddy. I might be a bad YouTuber, but I'll get better. Just made my first video. No one's a bad YouTuber. Everybody needs practice. Everybody, that's like saying I'm a bad, I don't know, person, just because, or you're, you're not as known, or I'm bad at football because you've only ever kicked a ball once. No one is bad, you're, that's just self-perception and I'm pretty sure your video will be great. And if you feel that it isn't, use that as a way to work forward. Use that as, okay, I wasn't happy with my first video, therefore this is what I need to do to improve. And just keep working on it, keep working on it, and you'll be great in no time. So Martin says, who have I not subbed yet? So feel free to put uh, to mention that if you feel that Martin hasn't subbed you. Hiya, Jess. Oh, Jess, you know what? Jess here, so where it says the bug files. I haven't read your message yet, Jess. Comes on on nearly every live thing I ever do. Even one time it was just me and her on a Facebook Live, just me and her, and she still came and supported me when she was busy. Uh, I can't remember, was it an essay or something you had to do or something? So. I did it simply as I had loads of room and wanted to see if they'd be okay. Never again. Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, it was you messaged me earlier, was it? You know what? I'm not with it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all experimental, to be fair. So, Peter, thanks for the sub. Single malt whiskey, man. I'm not a fan of whiskey. I'm going to be honest with you. I've tried to get to like whiskey. And I can't, it's not my thing at all. Um, yeah, mate, I'll pull and send one for you. One's them already hatched and molted. Uh, was that a comment to someone else? Oh, right, that was a comment to you, Tarantula Cave, cool. Oh, Tarantula Cave is gone as well. See you later, Martin, take care. Started three weeks ago. Yeah, spider wick. Sam, Andrew's Tarantulas is here. So if anyone hasn't seen Andrew's Tarantulas, you've got to check out Andrew's Tarantulas. Not only does he do great content, but he's an absolutely lovely gentleman. I I just, I, I love his videos, and I think he's just such a nice person. So. Peter. Scotch malt, but I don't like the price. Yeah, we don't, none of us like the price of things. The Dorwoods Navy Rum. Revising for A Rebels, that's what Jess says. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Jack Daniels from Beginners Borough, I'm not a fan of Jack Daniels. Uh... Right. I'm actually going to nip to the loo, guys. Um, if anyone wants to go now, feel free. I don't find it rude. We're going to go back to the bug room in a moment and we're going to look through some things. But for this moment in time, I want to nip to the loo and I'm not taking you in there with me. Um, so I would have ended this by the time an hour was up, which was ages ago now. I'm only carrying on just because there's people here and I like to have a chat with you guys. Obviously, the main purpose of this video is done. So if anyone does want to go, take care and thank you. If you're still going to be here after I've gone to the toilet, that's great. And I will see you in a few minutes. Chat amongst yourselves, sub to one another, and I will be back. If anyone joins and asks where I am, guys, let them know I'm only going to be a couple of minutes. 
I haven't really got anything to place you to look at for the moment. Uh, hmm. What's in here? No. Right, I'll be as quick as I can. Right, sorry about that folks, I am back now. And we still got 10 people here, well that was surprising, I expected you all to disappear to be fair. <sighs> Kill the computer, bury it deep in dark hole, what have I missed here? Did that smoke detector just move? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, let's hope not, I don't want ghosts. Right, I've got to be quiet a minute. I can walk it past my daughter's room. Says me creaking the door. So hard to get in my bug room. We just missed a shot of a tarantula then. One came out to say hello, ran away when I came in here. Never mind, I'm not going to show you, it's just a pile of dirt now. Right. Let's set this back up. There is really not, if you guys want to see how much space I have in this room to walk around, you have to excuse the mess on the floor from where I've been cleaning. That is a tiny gap. This, look how much space I'm taking up. That is it, that is my floor space. I'm trying to talk to you and clean things out in a space that tiny. Um, oh, sorry, oh, I'm like an old man. Right, where are we? <coughs> I'm not going to be on this for too much longer, guys. Uh, I'm glad you were chatting amongst yourselves. Ah, oh, Damien's here. Hello, Damien. Cricket sounds. Right. <coughs> Four African millipedes. Not sure it's a male. I want a blondie. I'd love to have a blondie. So, anything anyone else particularly wants to look at from the collection? I mean, as we've gone through the phasmids, which I need to put one of them back as well. That's on the floor at the minute. Um, none of my tarantulas are out. Oh, one is. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you climbing up there? Don't climb up there. So, doesn't normally climb to the top, it's because I disturbed it. That's my T-Stermy there. Tiny. It's never climbed up there before. It's always stayed on the ground, um, but I startled it when I moved the enclosure. So, that's my T-Stermy. Dinky little thing. And the only one that's out tarantula-wise at the moment. Good little eater though.
So a post of breeding, that would be cool. Uh, so going well, Damien. We've actually gone past most of what this video is about. Um, we've done a lot of the phasmid stuff today, which was the purpose. Um, where is my jungle nymph gone? Hang on a minute. Where's she gone? Oh, no, it's fine. I panicked then. I don't want her getting out. That would not be good because my left window open. Won't be dinky for long. Yeah, I hope not. Once again, I have to watch when everyone's gone. You don't have to watch through the whole live, buddy. Just skip across. A lot of it was basically cleaning out phasmids, but if you get to the point where I'm doing the phasmagigus, that's worth watching. Uh, we got to see a male expand his wings. Um, my communal setup, we got to see some different behaviours to normal. Um, certain species were drinking from a water dish that don't normally drink from a water dish, which was really interesting. Um, so, yeah. Some of it was worth checking back on. Lower tranche is still not allowed. Not allowed millipedes either, but they're easy to hide, yeah. Fair enough. Well, I wasn't allowed tarantulas for years. Uh, my girlfriend was definite no-no for tarantula keeping. But when she saw how passionate I was um, with my YouTube, she allowed me to get some so that I could start learning about them because that's that's my main thing I like to learn as I go um, and tarantulas is my newest thing to learn about that and scorpions two things I don't know wanting to learn about more species of beetle because I don't know much about them either um, trying to think what I could show you for the minute where's me tongs Oh, I want to do, would do some feeding guys for you, but I seem to have put my tongs somewhere silly. Sydney funnel web, uh, not for me. It's not something I'm going to risk having. Um, other funnel webs, perhaps. You know what, I've... I lose these tongs on a daily basis. I literally have no idea where they are. Well, that was the plan of feeding gone down the drain. Well, I suppose what we could do actually, we could feed uh, No luck finding poetry beasts in the UK. Well, we can actually chuck some mealworms in with our Egyptian poetry beetles if you like. I don't really like handling roaches. They just, um, I don't mind big roaches, but like feeder roaches, it's just kind of like Ugh, to me. And I don't mind picking up a mealworm. All right. These guys don't often like to feed on the camera. Let's move that back. Get up me wheel worms. We'll see if we can get them to take a feed for you guys. Oh, they've run to the other side now. Hang on. I hope you guys can see that. Could you see that? You know what, it's going to be better if I do it this way and then I can see what's actually on the camera. Sorry guys, I'm moving you around everywhere I know. Right. I'm going to try and feed this one now. seem too interested. 
the other one is feeding. Where is it? So So I'm just reading back. Moving out in September. What transfer should I get? Recommended by Sam or other keepers? Uh, depends what you're after. Um, Bracky Palmer tend to be a good one to start with. I actually own one, only one uh, Bracky Palmer species, and that's the Kallenbergi. And I really enjoy that one, but it does like to hide a lot. So, um, but yeah, if other guys want to do a recommendation for just the uh, for a fast tarantula, please do, because you guys, a lot of you guys here, have got more experience than I do. Um, oh, I'm glad you guys managed to witness that. Brazilian black. Uh, I don't know what that person said. Someone written upside down. Hello there. Hello to you too. I don't, I'm not quite sure who you are, um, but hello, hi Amy. Ragnar King, check out my Brachypelma collection. It says Spiderwick. I need to get a Brachy. Peter says about that, yeah. You're scared. Uh, no, I'm just curious who you were. Welcome to the live. First tarantula. <laughs> yeah, well, we all want something a bit different. There is no real first tarantula in my eyes anyway, as long as you do your research. Right, is there anything else anyone wants to see? Vinegaroon's not out, which is a shame. Let me see if the centipede's out. I have to rehouse this centipede. Now this was a tiny peedling. There it is. Oh, you're probably not going to see in this lighting. Hang on. Just there, look. I know it's blurry, I'm sorry, but that's the best you're going to get from this angle. I'm not opening it because now he's grown enough that it can reach the top. So I need to rehouse it, and that's why I'm not going to open it for you guys because I can't be dealing with an escape millipede live on camera. Um, but it was less than half that size when I got it. My very, very first ever YouTube video. You can see how tiny this thing was, um, and it's actually in my intro. So that's that one. Got to go, no problem, to begin his burrow. Thanks for joining, buddy, I appreciate that. I'm just his sister, she's crazy bug lady. I did recognise that you had the same surname there, so... Are you going to be a crazy bug person as well then? Or just your sister? I'm trying to think what else we can show. The deep end to Loris isn't out. Uh, there ain't a lot else really that's out. Trapdoor spider is in its burrow. Um, now there ain't, ain't really much else I can get out at the moment, if I'm honest to you guys. So we are going to end this soon. I love millipedes the most. But I'm more for pigs. And Jess has her bugs. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Nothing wrong with liking bugs. So do you watch the channel as well? Or have you just joined for for a laugh? We all like pigs. Pigs are awesome. Oh, I need to put my mealworms away. So these mealworms here. There's quite a lot of them literally hundreds in here. These came from my mealworm farms. Every single one of them was bred by me. Um, 
and I do have a really old video if you scroll back quite far through my videos of micro mealworm farms that take up a lot less space than a lot of people's mealworm farms um, that they've put online so if you check out my micro one if anyone needs loads of mealworms the method does work and has been successful so it's definitely worth doing if you want a bit more space than your standard mealworm farms Biggest Bracky Palmer species, curious as I want to get another Bracky Palmer. I ain't got a clue. Still learning about my tranches. I wouldn't know which was the biggest, but if anyone can answer, that would be great. Sure you're watching it and she tagged along. Wow, tell her she should support the channel. I want to see, I want to see that, that subscribe be hit by the end of this live, otherwise, well, nothing will happen if I'm honest with you. Otherwise, absolutely nothing will happen. <laughs> just, I was trying to get something funny and I just failed miserably. So we've got some answers there on people's opinions on the biggest brackies. But yeah, I can't answer that. I don't have a clue. Um, I, could, I want to try and feed a mantis for you guys. But... I've lost my tongs. Mm. Oh, you have already subscribed. Oh, in that case, I'll let you off then. My only bracky lives in here. Uh, it's completely sealed off its burrow, though it shouldn't be due for a molt because it's reasonably, it molted a couple of weeks ago. Um, it just likes to fill in its burrow, which is a bit of a pain. Um, it did it previously during a molt, so I thought that's why it had done it, but it seems to do it anyway. Oh, I can't actually see it. I don't know if you guys will be able to. I don't know if anyone can see in there, but it's in there. I think it's ran off from the light. But that's my Brachypama Kallenbergi. In there. What can we do? What can we do? I like how there's so many of you still here when we're not doing anything. That's great. I appreciate just to have someone to chat to, to be fair. Let me try something here. You have to bear with me a minute, guys. So just chat amongst yourselves. This plan may or may not work. Light is in the way, light is in the way. Right, I want nothing falling in this cup of tea or I'll cry. Oh, this seriously needs a clean. This is nasty. Ugh, it's my dubia colony. It stinks of orange. Come here. That's so hard with no tongs. Sorry about the wait guys, I will be with you shortly. Where are you? Come on. Okay, plan might work after all. So, we're going to attempt to do a mantis feeding without tongs. May or may not work. So this is my Hirogia SP Golden, which you'll be seeing in a moment, and then I will read your comments. Um, I don't know where to angle this right now. Hang on a minute. Hang on, guys. I'm closing the window. 
If I put that facing down a moment, this is a horrible tripod. Right. Sorry guys, I'm really sorry about the this. I'm gonna try and There's my Herodula SP Golden. There is a Dubia. Shall we see if she'll take to it? She's not showing much interest. Oh, it's gone under her. She went to strike then, but... You can see as they get their name, she's got this golden coloration, not like your typical green mantis. Um, although she still looks quite green in this, a lot of that's reflection. Oh, she can see it. Let's hope for a strike in a moment. Oh. She's looking at you guys instead. She doesn't want the dubia. She wants to say hello. She is kicking off at nothing. It's underneath you, you plonker. Well, wow, world, world's stupidest mantis right here. She's, uh, she might just not be hungry. She might just be saying go away, to be fair. On her back. Oh, she's keep she keeps watching it. Uh, she's she's not interested. She's backed off from it now. So sorry, guys. So check. I haven't trapped her legs, and then I'll be back with you. She's good. Oh, sorry you didn't get to see a mantis feeding. She's normally great for eating. Um, but she is a bit f right now. But at least you got to see her. So come and say hello. Just reading comments. Thanks for your comments, guys. Hello to Daniel. She wants to eat us. Yeah, she she was more interested in you guys than she was the prey, which is quite funny. We could try the Madagascan marble, but to be fair, I don't want to be putting my hands back in that dubia colony. It really needs a clean. So you got a pair of ghost masters the other day. Now, there is corresponding hang on i've got a new put me um black beauties back there is corresponding things here some people say ghosts are dead easy but in my personal experience i found them less sorry i found them more a pain to certain foods what i would recommend for your ghosts is i'm not sure what you're feeding them but ghosts are known to take to fly prey better than crawling prey so if you want to try if you haven't tried anything flying put flying prey in with your ghosts and see if they'll take to that why do I look like I'm wearing lipstick <laughs> right I'm gonna leave the bug room now guys um, I'm gonna go down and just chill um, I'll leave the live on for a bit if you guys want to have a conversation um, but it's going to be it from the bug room for tonight because it's way too hot in here but if you want to have one last little look in the communal sorry for reflection um 
yeah I need to just sit and have my cup of tea away from this heat thanks thanks by the way I appreciate that like I said I'm willing to chat as long as people are willing to chat um, within reason crabs out Oh, there's a reflection again. I don't know how well you can see, if you can see it. Oh, it's ducked back in now anyway. Right, I'm not going to talk for a minute while I sneak out of this room. So I don't want to wake my daughter up. Yeah, call cool, Andrew, no worries, buddy. Uh, good luck doing your, your next video. Uh, you're welcome, Damien, no problem, buddy. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Um, I'm literally gonna go in a mo. If anyone's got any more questions, if there's anything they wanna see in a live, I'm also going to be doing a live Q&A at some point. So if you guys wanna think up some questions, to go in a live Q&A, they can be about anything, then just write them down for the minute. Oh no, tell you what, you can you can message them to me on Facebook through the Bug Realms page. You can private message me on Instagram or you can leave a comment below or whichever. I'm probably gonna do a video stating that I'm gonna do a live Q&A. So you could just wait and comment on that video if you'd rather because I like to get to know you guys. I like you guys to get to know me a bit better. So I do want to do a decent Q&A, which is not going to be a silly long live like this. It's going to be more like a half an hour, 15 minutes going through questions, 15 minutes quick chat, uh, and that will be that. So, who knows? Uh, let's kind of escape the heat of your bug room, it's your actual room. Mine used to be my actual room. We've got Ben's Exotics here. Hi, Ben. We're actually coming to the end of the live now, Ben. Um, we've left the bug room now. That's where we did everything. Um, I remember you doing a book review, Sam. So more book reviews would be nice. Yeah, no problem. It's finding the right ones to do it on. Um, I've got a few books. Some are a bit outdated. There's some really cool Phasmid books I want to get hold of. Um, but they are serious money. I'm looking like over a hundred quid for a book, which is a bit of a nightmare, but there's some really, really good ones out there. Ah, oh, thank you, Peter. Sam, any new bugs on your list? Well, for my list to get, mm, I want, uh, I'm not sure if you're here when I was saying it earlier or not, I want to get more into some African tarantulas, some baboons, because I've been invited to Africa to stay with someone next year or the year after i probably won't be able to afford next year but we'll see what happens um so i'd like to be able to learn a bit more about them in person as well as learning from other youtubers online books and and things like that i want to be able to keep them to study them myself um to know what to look out for for when i go over to africa so i can identify species and i can identify burrows and localities and things like that so i may get into a few more african tarantula species um so that i've got a good year or two to learn about them before i go and i'll be doing some footage over there when i do go and we'll see what we can find so that's on my list i still want more beetles more millipedes for my communal coffee table enclosure which i'm not going to show you right now because my room is in a massive state um so I want some stuff to go in there and yeah that's probably it for the minute I'd like to get a few more mantis as well so yes yeah, so it's gonna be African tarantulas some mantis stuff for the communal and I'm always on the look for certain phasmid species as well and we st I've still got to show you the, the awesome phasmid species that I'm keeping secret but you'll have to wait a little bit longer for that we're coming near the end of the BTS haul series on YouTube what I've done is I think I've got three ready to go three or four and then one more where I've blended three into one because the footage was not that great so I've kind of just blended it all into one instead 
then there'll be the revealistic insect um, and then we're going to be starting our series on the native UK invert series where we're building the four foot well we're going to be decorating and sorting out a four foot vivarium ready for native UK species um, which are going to be combined for both predator and non-predatory inverts and we're going to see and study them and see how well they adapt together and see if the predators rule the tank or whether the non-predatory ones are too well hidden like it's going to be a big study enclosure so that's going to be a series of making that enclosure and filling it as well um that would be awesome i like african and asian species i like i love asian species of nearly every invert especially with my phasmids as well i love asian species of everything but I still want, because my chance is to go to Africa, that's why I'm going to go into some African stuff for the moment. But my biggest dream is to go to Borneo. Borneo is the place I want to go, the place I want to film, the place I want to see the inverts in the wild. And you can discover some crazy stuff over there as well. So, got to run to Martin's Tank Talk. No problem, I appreciate you coming on again. Um, you've been staying for such a long time for my streams. I'm quite shocked and I appreciate that. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, it's just after 11 p.m. here. I'll get five. Yeah, yeah, you go get some sleep, buddy. You chill out. Have a great night. And to you, Spiderwick, thank you. What are African and Asian? Oh, if you want to go through genus lists, I'd be here all night. I'm not an expert with them, but... Um, well, to be honest, it's because I can't pronounce them properly. There are loads. There's quite a few to go through. Remember to hit the like. Yeah, thank you, Martin. Secrets, I see what's going on here, yeah. Going to get some kip now. Take care, Peter. I'm off in a minute anyway, guys. So thank you, Peter. I'm going to leave this until the 1 minute 55 mark. So you've basically got two and a half minutes if anyone does want to ask me anything else. And then I'm going to chill for the evening. So I'm surprised my battery's lasted this long. Is this, for anyone who watched my other lives, has this come out clearer on my phone than it did on my webcam? Because obviously my phone camera is a lot better, but I don't know what the quality is like for you guys. Yeah, Damien, I, I would quite like to get some. It's, uh, I've still got a lot to, I, I don't really, I've got one African tarantula and it's a tiny sling. I've just got so much to learn. Panthropeutrist. At some stage, I would like to get some, but just not at the moment. There's there's too much I I've kind of like need to get first before my collection builds enough. Oh, by the way, guys, if anyone's looking forward to what videos are coming next, we actually have a three tarantula. Is it three? I think it's three tarantula rehousing. That's probably up tomorrow, um, which will be my. Dallas Pentaloris, my Brachypelma Kallenbergi, and my T. Sturmy, where I've moved them into the enclosures they're now in. So if you want to see what they look like properly, then you're welcome to, to, to have a look at that video that comes up tomorrow, and you can have a look at them in, in big better detail than we were able to. Clear on the webcam. Oh, right. See, on my screen, the webcam was awful um but it might be lighting i could get better lighting i had a light shining from above when i was on the webcam i don't have that on my phone because i couldn't fit the lighting into the bug room i'm not getting a brazilian wonder in spider no i have to have a license for one over here and uh, it's too risky for me Right guys, so I am going to be shooting, so if anyone did join that isn't a subscriber, I massively appreciate subscribe, there's going to be some awesome content coming, like I said, we've got the four foot vivarium build coming up, the BTS haul series is coming to an end, hopefully I'll get to go to the Western Invert show, so there'll be a video about that as well, should be seeing some other YouTubers there, we've also been discussing collaborations to come probably next year, between me and several other YouTubers, not all at the same time, but in various points throughout the year so hopefully you'll get to see some good collab work um, some of them smaller channels some of them are channels you will definitely know so 
we've got that to look, excuse me that to look forward to as well. So secret stick something I have already. Is it the secret stick? Something? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's not something you have already, but it's. Or is it? Did I show you? Was it you that I showed? I don't know if I did. I sh I don't know. I showed one person once briefly, but I can't remember it. Thanks again, sir. But it's not one that you have in your collection. I can't spell the scientific name. I'm stuck in traffic listening to you talk. No, I appreciate that. Well, thank you anyway. Um, with Trash Guy 976, no, because he's over the pond for me. Has to be. It'll be UK YouTubers that I will be doing um, collabs with. So if you look for UK YouTubers on inverts, then there is a good chunk of them that are willing to do collaboration with me. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see which ones stick to their guns when they said yes and uh, which ones might be too busy or so on and so forth anyway guys I'm going to leave it there um, Mark and I haven't discussed it with one another about doing a collaboration but I would like to do one with Mark and I have met Mark and I really get on with him so maybe down the line I'll speak to him about it, but I don't have him through Facebook, where I have a lot of the others through Facebook, and that's where I'm doing the arrangements. I didn't show you, no. I didn't think it was you. There was one person. Um, oh, it was an Instagram person, that's why. It's someone who didn't really watch my channel, so it wasn't too much to give it away. Thanks for watching, Brittany. I appreciate you coming. You have a leaf and send out, which are fab. Great, you will. They are great. They're really, really cool to watch. Just don't ever mix them with another species because they'll start eating them. Tarantula addict. I have met tarantula addict as well. Um, I do have him, a way of contacting him, but he's quite a busy man. Let's just put it that way, but that doesn't mean it's a no. So anyway, guys, I will leave it there. I'll leave it to your imagination of who I could do collaborations with. If there's anyone you actually want to see me do a collaboration with, when I end this live, pop it in a comment below if it comes up. I'm not sure if the live will come up straight away. Or just Facebook me. Facebook me some stuff for a QA. and a Facebook me or Instagram me. Um, again, about people you want to see me do a collaboration with, UK people only. I could e probably quite easily do a Sidex collab um, if I can get up to where he lives. I'm pretty sure he'd be happy to. Anyway, I really am going to leave now, guys. It's a two-hour live. Um but I appreciate all the time that you guys have put into talking to me. Um, I have met Petco, Brittany. I have spoke with Petco, but I cannot afford to go to Croatia. Um, yet. Let, yet. That's it. Just yet. Exotic Slayer is not UK. He's too, way, way, way too far for me. So I am going to leave it now, guys. Though, All right. So see you later. Thank you all for watching. It's been great to have that support on this live. So take care, everybody. Um, um, take care. Yeah, I don't know how to end it on my phone. So here we go. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you.